in this lesson i am going to do a few more problems on uh, proving the statements using mathematical induction so the first one is the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence with first term u1 and common difference d is given by sn is equal to n over 2 2 u1 plus n minus 1 into d so we already know this formula one of the formulas to find the sum of um, n terms of an arithmetic sequence and we have to now prove this using mathematical induction now we know that number of terms uh, the terms start from the first term so that means if the, if for step number one we need to show that show that the above statement is true for uh, n is equal to 1 so left hand side is s1 which we know is u1 right hand side is equal to n over 2 so this is n over 2 2 u1 plus n minus 1 into d so that means n is 1 so 1 over 2 2 u1 plus this will be 0 times d so that gives me u1 which means the this sn is equal to n over 2 2 u1 plus n minus 1 into d is true now step number two we need to assume uh, so we need to make an assumption that the given statement is true for sum n is equal to k which means sk is equal to k over 2 2 u1 plus k minus 1 into d okay now step number three we need to prove that prove that the given statement is true for i'm not writing given statement is you have to make sure that you write it down so we have to prove that the given statement is true for n is equal to k plus one now we need to state that what we have to prove so we need to prove is s k plus one is equal to k plus one over two so you replace n by k plus 1 now so 2 u1 plus when you replace this k by k plus 1 you will get 1 and 1 will get cancelled so k plus 1 over 2 2 u1 plus kd so this is what you have to prove that so always you need to um, need to write down what you have to prove so now you have to prove s k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 times 2 u1 plus kd okay now we are going to start with um, step number three if you remember we need to do left hand side and the left hand side is sk plus one and whenever we are proving step three we always use step two now i want to show you the relationship which we know is s1 is u1 s2 is u1 plus u2 and this which means s2 can be written as s1 plus u2 and then similarly uh, s3 is going to be um, s2 plus u2 which means if i want sk plus 1 which can be written as sk plus so it's if you have 3 this is 1 less and then u2 which means if i want sk plus 1 this is going to be sk which is 1 less plus uh, if you look at this because if this is so this is equal to s3 s2 and then oh it should be u3 sorry which means this will be uk plus one and this is the very important step here so whenever you have sk plus one you will write this sk plus one as sk plus uk plus one because the sk plus one is the sum of k plus one terms which is same as sum of k terms plus k plus one -th term this step is quite important and now this sk we can find from uh, step number two and from step number two this will come from step number two and we already know from step number two sk is equal to you can see from here k over two and then two u1 plus k minus one into d so i'm going to replace that here so we will get k over two two u1 plus k minus 1 into d and then you got u k plus 1 now we need to replace this u k plus 1 we already know that u n so we also know that uh, u n is equal to u 1 plus n minus 1 into d which means u k plus 1 is going to be u 1 k plus 1 minus 1 into d 1 and 1 get cancelled so u1 plus kd is u k plus 1 so i'm going to replace that as well so k over 2 2 u1 k minus 1 into d and then plus u1 
plus kd. So this is what I will get replacing everything. Now I'm going to simplify. So this becomes ku1. Uh, uh, maybe we need to look at here first before we uh, start simplifying this. So maybe the good idea is if we look at what we have to prove. So we have to prove here is sk plus 1 is k plus 1 over 2 times 2u1 plus kd. So now we need to find out how can we have that. So what I'm going to do here is uh, if I open it, let's see. If I open that, this gives me k into k minus 1 into d plus u1 plus kd. And now this one is u1 common, so k plus 1. So I got that. And then from there, uh, plus k into k minus 1 into d plus kd. And now from here, I can see d is common so k square minus k plus k into d this get cancelled so we got u1 k plus 1 plus k square d okay mm, let us check one more time here we got u1 plus k d yeah and then we got here Okay, so if I open it, this gives me KU1 plus K into K minus 1 into D. I forgot to write 2 here and U1 plus KD, which means here there were divide by 2, which I forgot. So this is not correct. So this will be U1 K plus 1 plus D common. And then I got here K square. Maybe we, I will take D over 2. So K square minus k plus 2k so you got u1 k plus 1 you should get exactly the same you know what you have to prove and i was getting a mistake which means you know i did something wrong here so you got here u1 k plus 1 plus k into k plus 1 times d over 2 now from here because we need in sk plus 1 we need k plus 1 over 2 so we need that so i'm going to take actually i'm going to write down here 2 and then multiply by 2 so we got k plus 1 over 2 common and we got 2 u1 plus because this one is common this one is common and then kd and this is what we were supposed to uh, prove so here as we go back as k plus 1 is k plus 1 over 2 2 u1 plus kd and this is what is proved here Okay, and then you have to say the concluding statement uh, that uh, since we uh, showed that this the given statement is true for n is equal to 1 and by assuming that it's true for some n is equal to k, then we proved that it is true for n equal to k plus 1. So therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, it is true for all, all k or all n. Okay, the next one is the the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence with first term u1 and common ratio r is given by this. Again, you have to prove this using mathematical induction. It's exactly the same. So you start with step number one. In step number one, you have to show that, that is the keyword, show that it's true for n is equal to 1. So you get s1, which is u1. That's your left-hand side. Right-hand side will be u1 1 minus rn over 1 minus r so you substitute n is 1 and this get cancelled so you got u1 so first step is done in step number two we need to make an assumption these, these are the keywords which you have to use assume it is true for n is equal to for some n is equal to k sum is important here so, which means SK is equal to U1, 1 minus RK divided by 1 minus R. Now, in step number 3, you need to prove that. Prove that the given statement, I'm writing it is, it is true for N is equal to K plus 1. Which means you have to show SK plus 1 is equal to U1, 1 minus R, K plus 1 over 1 minus R. So, this is what you have to prove that. Always you have to say that what you have to prove. Now I'm going to start with whenever you have step three, remember you always have to start with uh, left hand side and then you have to use uh, 
what you have in step two so i'm going to write down here in step two i got sk is equal to u1 1 minus rk over 1 minus r this is what i got from step two and in step three i have to prove sk plus one is equal to u1 1 minus rk plus one over 1 minus r now i will start with the left hand side of step three which is sk plus one exactly the same way this is same as okay let's write down like this left hand side and this is sk plus uk plus one now again for gp un is u1 r to the power n minus one so uk plus one is going to be u1 r to the power of k so sk from step two u1 1 minus rk divided by 1 minus r plus u1 r to the power of k now after you substitute the value for from step 2 in the left hand side of step 3 you always need to pause there and see what you have to actually prove so this is what you have to prove here and look at this we need u1 and uh, common and then we have uh, like 1 minus r common so that's what i'm going to do so if i take u1 because this is u11 minus r to the power of k plus 1 over 1 minus r. That's what we need to prove. So I'm going to take u11 minus r common. So I got 1 minus rk. Okay. So 1 minus rk plus uh, if I want uh, 1 minus r common. So what I'm going to do here is I'm writing 1 minus r here and 1 minus r here. And I took this common, this common, this common, this common. So we got here r to the power of k and then 1 minus r and now i'm going to open this 1 minus r 1 minus rk plus rk minus r to the power of k plus 1 so this get cancelled so i got u1 1 minus r k plus 1 over 1 minus r and this is what exactly we had to prove so this is the right hand side of part three and now you need to say by principle of mathematical induction uh, concluding statement important here concluding statement that we proved we showed that it's true for n is equal to one and by making by assuming that it was true for some n is equal to k we proved it is true for n equal to k plus one so using principal mathematical induction it is true for all n okay the next one is again use mathematical induction to prove that 3 to the power of 2n plus 7 is divisible by 8 for all n belongs to n so in ib uh, n is the natural number and it starts from 0 0 1 2 3 so which means in step number one we have to start with n is equal to 0 so now i'm going to first write down step number one so i need to show this three to the power of 2n plus 7 is divisible by 8. So since for step 1 I have to use n is equal to 0. So 3 to the power of 2n plus 7 is 3 to the power of 0 plus 7. Anything to the power of c 0 is equal to 1. So 1 plus 7 this is equal to 8. So which is true. Now so here I showed that. Show that it's the given statement is true. Given statement is true for n is equal to 0. Now in step number 2 I need to assume. So assume that the given statement is true for for some n is equal to k which means I am saying 3 to k plus 7 is uh, divisible by 8 which is same as uh, can be written as multiple of uh, 8. So 3 to the power of 2k plus 7 is 8m. Now, step number three, I need to prove that the given statement is true for uh, n is equal to k plus 1. So, we have to show 3 to k plus 1 plus 7 is divisible by, so this is equal to 8 time um, something, so 8m prime. This is what we need to show. So, again, we have to use, so in this case, your uh, left hand side is, so what is your left hand side here? So, you will get here. Uh, 3 to the power of 2k plus 1 plus 7 and I'm going to open that 3 2k uh, plus 2 plus 7 so this is 3 to the power of 2k times 3 to the power of square plus 7 so I got 9 times 3 to the power of 2k plus 7 now I know the value of 3 to the power of 2k from step number 2 
So in step number 2, you got 3, 2K plus 7 is 8M, which means 3, 2K is 8M minus 7. So now I'm going to replace this by that. And now I got 72M minus 63 plus 7, which is equal to 72M minus 63 plus 7, which is minus 56. And now 8 is common here. And which means I can write this as 8M dash. So which means this is a multiple of 8. So we proved for n equal to k plus 1, the given statement was true. And then again, concluding statement, which is important at the end, concluding statement. So you will say by principle of mathematical induction, or before we have to say that we showed uh, that the given statement is true for um, n is equal to 0. In this case, it was natural number. And then by assuming that the given statement was true for some n is equal to k, we proved that the given statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Therefore, by principle of mathematical induction, uh, the given statement is true for all n. That's it for today's video.